Welcome to Club Bremen Spotlight, Episode 3. We're shedding the mass. Okay, I'm here with my pal, Larry Podwell from iHeartRadio. Great to see you, Danny. Danny Bayard. Always a pleasure, Larry. Great to be back. Great show tonight. Look forward to it. We've got a hilarious comedian, Naughty Audrey, that's going to be here with some comedy. Naughty Audrey? Naughty Audrey. Is that one of your pals from Indian Town? You think? <laughs> and I, listen, I understand you also went to a couple restaurants. Oh, fantastic. Yellowtail Asian Fusion Sushi in Delray Beach. That's a mouthful. Fantastic. We did a great segment uh, last week. Uh huh. In addition, uh, Johan Joe's Swedish Coffee Shop, downtown West Palm Beach. Outstanding. So yeah, as you it. could see, he's very well fed, as I had to go to the track. <laughs> okay. I wasn't even able to drive. My but buddy funny. Ron Brooks, who, who gives the assignments, uh -huh. uh, you know. He gave them to you. I got to take care of him. Oh, I see. I see. So uh, here Next it is. Next week, I'm, I'm going to put on a sweatsuit, though. I might have to do something about the elastic. <laughs> well, you know something? We're going to run you around the track, <laughs> which is where I was with Freddie Rimrav. He's going to give us some great tips on how to drive, and really, the best way is looking way down the track. So you're going to love that segment. After you watch the show tonight, go to clubbrayman.com for a chance to win one of 20 prizes. Larry, it's time to get the show on with some laughs, okay? Look forward to it. Right off the bat, a little comedy. Naughty Audrey. Naughty okay. Audrey. <laughs> She's been on with Regis, CMTV, Entertainment Tonight. I think you've seen her locally. A bunch of clubs locally, Boca Black Box, uh, the Hard Rock, the Improv up in West Palm Beach, and uh, uh, actress. Funny girl. Without further ado, Naughty Audrey. Naughty Audrey. Hi, it's Naughty Audrey. I have this friend, Tracy. She's one of these braggarts, you know. She says, oh, I don't want to brag or anything, but when I'm in bed with my husband, oh, he's always so loud. I said, so what? My husband snores too. Huh. I've been gaining weight, so I went to the doctor. He says, don't worry about it, Audrey. It's just the quarantine 15. Blame the virus. I said, gee, thanks, doc. But I don't know if I can blame the virus as much as I can blame Ding Dong's Donuts and Cheesecake. Ooh! Big Brother is telling us we need to wear masks with our bathing suits to the beach. I don't care what Big Brother says. I'm not wearing my bathing suit. And if I wear my bathing suit to the beach, everyone needs to wear blindfolds. In Port St. Lucie, they're trying to establish a nude beach. But I don't get it. You can be naked from here down, but you have to wear the mask? Aren't they confusing masks with banana hammocks? Think about it. Ooh, don't. I'm at the age now where I suddenly need reading glasses. I went to Dollar Tree for a pair, but don't ask me what I paid. I don't remember. Oh, are they on my head? No, good. I have a secret celebrity crush. He's kind of young. Justin Bieber. Does that make me a cougar or a lesbian? Hmm. I was watching Dr. Oz the other day, and he says a prescription for a long life is an orgasm every day. Figures, with my health care plan, I can only get it every 90 days. Hmm. Maybe I could just get it over the counter. A lot of people are enjoying their romantic time during quarantine, but some of the ladies are over it. Ladies, just give your man the dolphin. Oh, you don't know the dolphin? Let me show you. song I wrote just for you. What good is sitting alone in your room when you could be out for a walk? But wear your gloves, your mask, and your goggles too, and maybe you won't get COVID today. Thank you. I used to be a school teacher before I became a comic. Teaching was not for me. I got called into the principal's office one day. He said, rah, 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 rah. Mrs. Johnson, at your age, rah, 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 rah. you're webbing your cleavage too low. I said, well, at my age, this is as high as I can get them. Once I got in trouble over nap time, I mean, 
It's not my fault those kids woke up before I did. Thank you so much. I'm Naughty Audrey. Be well. Now, how do you shut this thing off? Now, that was really funny. You know, Larry, you went over to the Yellowtail Asian Cuisine in Delray Beach, right? Great spot, Danny. Chef Andrew Rothschild really took care of us. Food's amazing. Great spot. You Club Raymond members are going to love this. Come on, let's roll this uh, tape right now. Welcome to Yellowtail Modern Asian Cuisine. Next episode of the Brayman Spotlight. We're here with chef and owner Andrew Rothschild. Not from Tokyo, not from Lima, Peru, but no. Newark, New Jersey. Yeah. How do you figure? Good old Jersey. Yeah. Wait a second. Mask on? Mask yeah, off? We, we can go. We can go. Okay. We just I wanted to, like, you know, we have to wear the mask when we come to the restaurant. And then we just sit down. Good to see you. Take, take it off. There we go. We're glad to be here. Yeah. This area has just exploded. Western Delray. Yeah. How yeah. long are you uh, up and running in this location? Well, about three, over a little bit over three years ago, my partner Michael Tretzky and I got together and we said, you know, we're tired of driving out to the east side and these, you know, the, over to the East Delray or down to Fort Lauderdale, Miami, to get a good meal. And both of us are uh, like, to, you know, our foodies. I've been out of the uh, kitchen for a while. I was, I, I met him because he wanted to open a restaurant, so mm -hmm. introduced it to us. So we both decided, yeah, I live in Wellington. He lives down there five miles down in West Boca, and we both decided, yeah, let's open something out here so we don't have to drive all the way over, you know, 30 minutes to get a decent meal. So nice. that's how we wound nice. up here, and the place is blowing up. Yeah, Tremendous growth out west. Uh, I would drive out west to see you, and you guys are going to love it as well. Tell us about your history. Very elaborate with uh, South Florida culinary. Uh, I came down here in the early 2000s. 2001 to uh, be the chef at the Forge mm -hmm. in Miami, and Classic. I left there to open up a restaurant called Tsunami in West Palm Beach. It was a very popular restaurant. I started off uh, my with Asian fusions. I, I really I'm not crazy about that word, but in uh, 1993 when I opened the Mark in Chicago, wow. and we got uh, awarded for the best Pan Asian restaurant in America. We got Esquire magazine's best oh. restaurant in America. Great. We got a lot of awards in Chicago and. I, I love French cuisine. I'm French trained, and um, I have an affinity towards Asian ingredients. So I combined those two, and been doing it now for almost thirty years. Phenomenal! Yeah, beautiful restaurant, great sushi bar in the front. We're right off the Turnpike on the yeah. Atlantic Avenue exit in uh, Delray Beach, and uh, another episode, Brayman Spotlight with uh, Andrew Rothschild, owner, sushi chef, operator. How many? How many? Uh, we have, some of the best, we have some of the best sushi chefs over here. We buy the best fish from all over the world. We source our, our salmon from uh, off the coast of Scotland. And we, nice. we get our, uh, our tuna from, uh, from all over the world. Our bluefin tuna is from the Mediterranean. And uh, we get some really great stuff. We get a lot of fish imported from Japan. So uh, we're very uh, cognizant of the quality of the fish that we uh, bring to the table. And it has to be perfect. If it's not perfect, we won't sell it. That's so, standing. Yeah. Lunch and dinner? Uh, uh, presently, because of our COVID hours. Our course. COVID hours are Tuesday through Sunday, 3 o'clock to 8 o'clock, okay. 9 o'clock on weekends. Um, pre previous, before COVID, we were open for lunch and dinner. So okay. And, and you will soon again. We'll get back. We'll be back we'll soon. Yeah, yeah. Get through this, uh, this wave again. Get yeah. back to some semblance of normalcy. But, of course, uh, yeah. COVID-19 compliance. And uh, what are you going to prepare for us today? Well, I thought we'd make uh, one of the fan favorites here in the uh, in the restaurant our pad thai, which uh, we're Love it. very well known for our sushi. But our our kitchen is firing on all uh, off cylinders, uh, so uh, we'll, we'll do a pad thai, chicken pad thai for you, and then we'll throw out a bunch of sushi items for you. Beautiful, so, love it. That. We're going to head into the kitchen with uh, Chef Andrew. He's going to show us how we make our our chicken pad thai. So you can see the wok is getting very, very hot right now. He's got the chicken. So every pot thai gets eggs. That keeps the noodles and everything from sticking to the wok. 
One of the great things is that we only use the best ingredients that you can get. We source it from all over the world. And uh, our pot thai is made with uh, uh, imported Thai tamarind concentrate. And that's how we make the pot thai sauce. So he gets the noodles hot. And then he adds a little pot thai sauce to it. Most restaurants use vinegar and not, not the real tamarind. It's going to have a great sweet and sour taste. Finish it off with some green onions and some bean sprouts. There you go. We're going to, we're going to put this in the window and finish it with some peanuts and some lime and you'll see the finished product in just a second. Okay, put the peanuts. Put some lime. There we go. Now let's eat it. We're back out of the kitchen. Mask is off. In about 30 seconds, the jacket will be off. <laughs> Chef, what do you have? Oh, that was awesome. That's what we do here, y'all. We, we always have some fun going on. That was good. Can you, can you do that again? You can't script that. Look at the spread that the chef brought out. Chef Andrew, what do we have here? Well, we, we, I picked some of our most popular wow. items that we got here at the restaurant. This is our, our, our chicken pod thai. You ought to check this out. We're, the noodles here are, are pretty good. Love it. Let's see if I can get in there. Hey, hold up your plate there, big guy. Sure, we will. A little, a little uh, taste of that. Boy. And then... Uh, this looks amazing. Right, thank you, sir. There you go. Uh, these, is, these are our uh, tuna poppers. The spicy tuna or our special sauce on top of the crispy uh, rice cake. Wow. You want to try one of those suckers? You don't, you don't have to pick it up with your hand. Right. Yeah, that's called a tuna popper. You know why? The pop, pop, pop. Just pop it. Pop it right. Just pop it. When it's out, pop yeah. it out. This is our Sonoma salad. Um, Look at this. Yeah, it's a layer of seaweed and some cucumber and octopus and crab and, you know, some masago. And we toss in a little rice wine vinegar sauce. Beautiful. And then this is our super nami roll. This is a special roll. This is our most popular roll. It's, I call it the kitchen sink roll because it's, it's pretty much got everything on there. It's got spicy Love tuna. It. It's got tuna. It's got shrimp tempura in there. It's got some vegetables. You know, wow. it's... It's uh, seasoned Beautiful. with our super nami sauce. Beautiful execution. Sorry. I feel Thank like you. Guy Fieri. Thank Beautiful you. Beautiful execution. Well, uh, once I, I have a new home for sushi, and you guys will as well. Awesome. Here. Try the popper, Let's chef. Do a popper. Yeah. That's a good uh, life. Got a lot of pop. Not bad, right? Love it. <laughs> Excellent. Look at that sushi. I'm gonna dig in here to the pad thai. Oh, knock it out. This is not your father's Asian fusion bistro. <laughs> <laughs> chef Rothschild, mm. owner, operator, head chef. Thank you. What an operation. Thanks for having you here. Uh, thank you. Yeah. We're Delray Beach, Yellowtail. Uh, my new favorite will be yours also, Club Raven Spotlight. I'm digging in. Chef, I thank you. Thank you. Now that looked really tasty. Oh, it was great. And I'm never going to live down that chopstick debacle. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> you even did it in slow-mo. <laughs> Danny, you couldn't do it if you tried it a thousand times. Well, listen, <laughs> what you got to try a thousand <laughs> times is listen to the following tips from Freddie Rimrav. While you were out Freddy's eating... Freddie's back again. While you were out eating, I was out working, okay? <laughs> Roll the tape with Freddie. <laughs> We're waiting to see whether or not it comes out, and it does. The checkered flag is now waving. All right, and we have Freddie Ramrod home the victory. Hey everyone, it's Freddie Remrev, and today's tip for driving is going to be looking ahead. We're going to spend some time driving around West Palm Beach, then we're going to go to the track and do some stuff with Kristen, and uh, we'll see you out there. So on this, we're going to concentrate really on just 
looking at the cone where you're going to be. So you have to, we have to slalom between them, but we want to look at the next nice. cone. Nice, now we'll just turn around and do it again. Same thing again. Again, we're going to get a little bit repetitive, but this is a drill that works great. Look ahead, look to where you're going to go. Your hands and your Sorry, feet are reacting <laughs> to what you're doing, but you have to look where you got to go. Here's a view of Kristen driving on the outside, try to give you a little bit different perspective of what she has to do to maneuver the car. Not out of control, totally in control. We're gonna come back again. I'll try to take a view of her coming at me and hopefully I'll get out of the way. Here she comes. She's looking ahead. She's targeting on her next move. Hey folks, how you doing? I'm in a 2020 BMW X6. Let me take the mask off so we can go over some stuff and you can hear me a little bit better. I'm we'll hanging off this way, hope that's good. So we just turned on to Village Boulevard. Uh, we want to try to go over some things as far as looking ahead. Looking ahead is really the key to driving on the track and driving on the street. Um, you, you kind of do the, the theory as far as looking ahead is where you want to be rather than where you are. And the theory in that is you're driving, your hands and feet are reacting to everything that's peripherally in your vision now because you're looking ahead where your target, where you want to go. Uh, there's a theory in it. If if you're in a bad situation, whether it be on the street or on a track, and you're terrified and you're looking at something that you could end up possibly uh, in that barrier or in uh, the curb, if you're doing that and you're focusing on it, you'll probably end up in that barrier or curb. So the key is always look where you want to go. Uh, we're looking at right now a car in front of us. So one key thing to cover is um, safe driving distance. You know, you want to try to maintain, maintain something that gives you some distance. Uh, some people will pick an object and count 1001, 1002. That's a good way to do it. Uh, by counting. Right now we're, we're in a bend right now, so I have to react, but I see the, the left coming up. So it does fall away the turn, and the turn is kind of blind, so I have to concentrate and I have to constantly look ahead. I have to key on a couple things. I have to key on intersections, people pulling out. When you're in traffic, you want to focus sometimes on the lead car. Right now we're trailing three cars and the lead car seems to be setting the pace and the decision for the rest of us. So I know after this turn, you use your experience. I know after this turn, there is a couple intersections that pop out. Nothing, traffic's great. So we picked a good traffic area right now. Um, and uh, hope this helps you out. So that's our tip today on driving and driving tips and looking ahead. I'm Freddie Remrev. Another great driving tip from Freddie. I'll tell you, he comes out with the best everyday, knowledgeable things to know yeah. about driving. Very, very practical for down here, South Florida. These roads are chaos, and uh, it's great to have him on board. And listen, if you're driving, you might as well go down to West Palm Beach, because uh -huh. of what I understand, uh -huh. look at it. Every time I talk about restaurants, you start to laugh. <laughs> All right, so you were at another we restaurant Johans place. Johan's Joe last week. Maddie and Laura took great care of us, had a latte had amazing Swedish meatballs. This this place is a true gem. Downtown West Palm Beach, Johan's Joe. I'm tired of hearing you talking about it. You've been talking about it for a week. Let's roll that tape, would you? Brayman Spotlight, we're thrilled to be at Johan Joe's downtown West Palm Beach. Without further ado, Maddie and Laura. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Welcome to you. <laughs> One of my favorite topics, cars and coffee. Yes. Do the coffee first, cars. Well, we can talk about our coffee. So, Tell we, us about it. we're Johan's Joe. Uh, we've been here almost five years in downtown West Palm Beach, and we import all of our coffee from Sweden. 
uh, from Love Bears Lila. They are um, it's all fair trade, organic, uh, Rainforest Alliance certified nice. coffee. Um, very smooth, uh, dark roast coffees that we import from them. So um, it's a little bit about uh, what we bring from Sweden over here. Uh, we also do fresh baked pastries, a lot of family recipes um, from Sweden, from our families. Um, we have Swedish meatballs and Swedish pancakes as well. Wow. So yeah. Very extensive. Nice crowd this afternoon. Thanks. Inside out, as you can see with the masks once again. Another episode, COVID compliance. <laughs> but uh, inside, outside, plenty of room. Maddie, yeah. you know, how do you like, how long are you in the States? Originally from Sweden. Yeah, I've been here now for seven years, full time. And uh, I love it. I love the warm weather. Enjoy the South uh, Florida, yeah. typical uh, July day now. Yeah. 100 degrees, Fantastic. heat index. <laughs> <laughs> no complaints from no. Swede. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you arrived, multiple BMWs in the portfolio from Bremen Motor Cars. Yeah. And uh, you partner with our buddy Freddie with the Porsche Racing Division. Yeah. Want to tell us about that? Yeah. Um, when I moved here seven years ago, I, I've been racing in Sweden uh, before I moved here, and I want to continue with it. So I took my race car over here, a Porsche Cup car, and I got introduced to Freddy five years ago, I think. And we started to drive together and uh, every Wednesday. And then nice. uh, now with the COVID thing, we haven't been driving for a couple of years, but uh, we just picked it up again and it's really fun. Great. Freddie is actually a co-star on the spotlight. I think he's been on every episode to this point. Oh. <laughs> so you're in good hands. He did a great segment on hydro planning last week. Yeah. So, uh, you know, this is our new feature moving forward till we get back to some semblance of normalcy with our events. But we're thrilled. We're at Johan Joe's downtown West Palm Beach. Are we going to get into the kitchen today or what do you guys have? Sure, uh, absolutely. Uh, David, our uh, head barista here, um, he is going to make you um, a cappuccino as well. So you can see some of our latte art. Um, we'll have some samples that? of some pastries for you to try, too. So, How has it worked out with you guys just over the last few months? Obviously, business in the new norm. Uh, we've got a nice crowd inside and out, very comfortable, the curbside. And yeah, we focused a lot on curbside and delivery. We actually closed for about seven weeks. Yeah. We spent some time focusing on revamping part of our ordering system so that people could order online and pay online. Uh, pick up outside to make it a little bit more, sure. uh, you know, easier considering the circumstances. And then we opened uh, for a few weeks uh, just doing that mm -hmm. before we opened the inside as well. So right now just we're at about 30% capacity with okay. our tables inside, lots of extra tables outside. So Excellent. for those who aren't comfortable with staying inside, they can sure. still come in and order now if they'd like or right from their phones outside and we can bring it out to them. So. Excellent. Trying to be as convenient as we can. You're in a great spot. Yes, we love where we are, and we love our all the residences who live around us. They've become family here. Um, we know so many people by name and exactly how they like their coffee. I'm so sure. we nice. missed them. It was really hard being closed, and um, a lot of our regulars also work in the area. Um, okay. Some of them are still working remotely, so we're still waiting for everyone to come back and, and you they know, will. anxious yeah, for a, a normal, but a new normal. Beautiful spots. Uh, welcome all of our viewers and uh, club members to come on out. Uh, let's see what the guys have in the kitchen. What do we have here? We have the okay. spread. Yes, we brought you some of our favorites. Wow. Uh, we have for you uh, our cafe latte. It's very popular. That's a double espresso uh, with steamed milk, oh. micro foam, and you can see it's made with love. A little latte art on top for you. Uh, we also have our Swedish pancakes. Uh, they are served with a fresh whipped cream, a homemade berry preserves that we make here. Uh, you can also have fresh berries or everyone's favorite Nutella with those. Uh, and then we have our Swedish meatballs here. They are a organic grass-fed ground beef meatball um, nice. served with lingonberry and potatoes. Um, our salad has our, um, our basil dressing that we make in-house as well on top. For our pastries, for your sweet tooth, we have um, our blueberry muffin here, a chocolate hazelnut, hazelnut croissant, so a Nutella filling in that, our butter croissant, and then um, on this plate here, we have our chocolate bowl. That's a very traditional uh, Swedish uh, pika treat that you would have with your coffee break in Sweden. Uh, it's rolled with oats, cocoa, a little bit of butter, and some coffee, of course. Um, it's gluten-free. We have a, our other one there is a snowball 
that's rolled with oats and Nutella and coconut on the outside. And then one of my healthy items here, that's our energy ball. So that's rolled with almond butter, uh, okay. lots of different nuts. So the energy ball, at least we've got a little we bit. We have of one healthy yeah. thing. You know? This spread, thank God the couch is right here. I'm going to make it about three feet. You guys got to come down here. Johan Joe's in West Palm Beach, also a second location up in uh, North Lake. And you guys do a lot of special events and catering. Yes. Um, um, when we get back to, but in the meantime now, you can equip any function, group, Size. Yes, well, we are doing a lot more catering now, um, so we can bring the food to you. And then also this space here, we rent out in the evenings for private events. We can have up to 85 people here. Now we're sticking to the smaller events, maybe 10 to 15 people for bridal showers. We've used our space for wedding receptions as well, or birthday parties, so, yeah. Inside out, you're going to love it. Johan Joes, Maddie, Laura, David in the kitchen, fantastic. Love brand and spotlight. I'm gonna dig in. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man, was that great coffee? It looks like some great food. Did you bring back some takeouts here, Larry? Unfortunately not, Danny, but uh, uh, yum, yum. I'm still going to give you your Both. surprise right after this message. <laughs> Let the fireworks begin. During the big 4th of July sales event. At Bremen Motor Cars. Get incredible savings on. Over 1,000 new and pre-owned vehicles. Zero down and zero payments for 90 days. Experience a safe shopping environment or shop online with delivery right to your door this july save like never before Brayman motor cars we deliver talk about a long fourth of july party all month long so come on in larry here it is i got a special oh, little treat for you the old club Brayman uh, performance theater days i got I, a little flashback i knew it was coming what's one of your favorites oh uh, so many of them but you know something if I had to pick one, the Casino Royale. <laughs> you picked right. We've got Casino Royale, and you know something? Congratulations to Larry uh, uh, on putting that together with the gang, Ron Brooks and Joseph and Danny, Mark. Danny, it was a great collaboration, team effort to spin out these events. And uh, you know something? We're going to be back as soon as this COVID situation expires. Back we're with masks. Be back. We could even have that for a raffle. We'll have <laughs> a box of masks. Roll it. Let's go see. something those memories are great and when it's safe we're gonna do it again and we'll show some more flashbacks until that point on every episode love it visit clubbrayman.com for a super easy quiz about this show and your chance to win one of 20 prizes and join us for our next episode of club brayman spotlight where we're gonna get a treat an update on those great little tiger cubs the malayan tigers at the palm beach zoo and rumor has it danny you were at some local brewery for a beer tasting, <laughs> absolutely. This will be fun. And we got one more episode for you where we'll have Juno and Joey, which is a sibling country music act you're gonna love. So we'll see you next time, Larry, and yeah. once again, it's been a pleasure. Danny, another great episode of the Raymond Spotlight. Thank you. We'll see we'll you see next you time.